Let's begin with a seat, the foundation of our yoga practice, the asana, the seat for meditation. So find a comfortable seat and change the cross of your legs so you go with something that you're not used to always doing. Sit up tall without straining, so let go of any tension in your shoulders and in your neck. And as you close your eyes, release the tension in your tongue and in the roof of your mouth. Soften your belly. Let the groins and the thighs drop. And even though there's some effort to keep the spine upright, let the muscles, the more peripheral muscles, start to spread. So that there's room for breath. Take a slow breath in through your nose. And then through pursed lips, exhale all the air out. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more clearing breath like that into the nose. Out through the mouth. Now continue breathing in and out through your nose. And that exhalation through the mouth with a longer exhalation is a very powerful technique to draw us inward and to help the body to relax and ground. So just notice how much more calm, relaxed, and grounded you feel. And you can use that throughout the practice today. When you feel tension accumulating that you can't release, you can go back to that mouth exhalation or you can just focus on a long exhalation through the nose. Now open your eyes. Come onto the hands and the knees and let's start to mobilize. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Depending on your flexibility, you can keep the back knee down or lift the back knee. Twist and reach your back ribs towards the ground so that the elbow comes towards the ground as you inhale, twist open. Reach your arm up. Exhale, turn the rib cage, keeping your back leg stretched. Inhale to twist. Now bring the hand down and as you exhale, stretch the right leg towards straight. If you're less flexible, you can drop the back knee down. Rebend and as you inhale, twist. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, bend and twist. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Rebend into the inhalation. Exhale to step into plank pose. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. As you exhale, reach your left elbow down from the reach of your back ribs. And as you inhale, twist open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale the hand down and stretch the left leg towards straight. Inhale into the lunge and twist. Exhale to hamstring stretch. Inhale to the lunge twist. Exhale to hamstring stretch. Inhale back into the lunge and step into plank pose. 
set the knees down and with the toes curled under reach your hips back towards your heels lengthen through your side ribs from your side ribs to your armpits to your fingers stretch the lats the side body and as you inhale come up hands to knees hips towards wrists roll the chest open and as you exhale reach and stretch back Inhale, roll yourself up, hips towards wrists. Exhale, glide back. Inhale. And exhale. Child's pose, point the toes back. Come up on the hands and knees and stretch back into your first downward facing dog. Reach your right heel bone down towards the ground as you bend your left knee. Heel doesn't have to touch, depending on your ankle mobility, it might. And change, bend the right knee, stretch the left heel towards the ground. Stretch both heels towards the ground. And then keeping the knees straight, lift the heels up high. Reach the heels down up high, reach down and tighten your kneecaps, quadriceps, shins, lift up and down. Two more times, warming up the ankles here, the lower legs, bringing some mobility to the toes. Press your left big toe mound down and stretch your right leg up behind you. As you exhale, bring your knee to your right armpit. Inhale, control back up. Exhale to your right armpit. Inhale back up. Step your foot up to your thumb. Come up into warrior one, back heel down, or crescent if you wanna work on more stability. Now grab opposite elbows overhead. Visualize the sides of your body lengthening up to your armpits and your elbows as your tailbone elongates down towards the earth. Spin your back heel up if your back heel is down. Lower your left knee to the ground. Bring your hips back over your knee and your right foot to the right just a couple inches. Look up towards your left elbow and side bend over to your right. Just a gentle side bend as you tuck your left buttock under. Then come back up, raise your arms up, take a hold of your left wrist and side bend over to the right again. Come back up, arms up, hands down to the inside of your foot, lift your back knee up. Step into plank position. Three chaturanga push-ups or five scat push-ups, your call. Oh, you want a nightmare bear? Then lower all the way down. This time, clasp your hands behind your back. Roll your chest and shoulders open as you inhale. Reach through the toes as you press the 10 toes down. Tighten the kneecaps. Roll your heart forward. Chin like it's holding a grapefruit between your chin and your chest. Stretch and elongate. Lower your heart down. Press back into downward facing dog. Press your right big toe mount and raise your left leg up. 
Exhale the knee to your right armpit. Inhale back up. Exhale to your left. Inhale back up. Step so lightly that if there was a sleeping dog next to you, it wouldn't wake him. Come up into warrior one or crescent, your call. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. As the tailbone lengthens on your exhalation towards the ground, feel on your in-breath the side body opening, expanding the skin. Imagine the skin from your ribs to your armpits reaching up as the hips release down on the exhalation. If your back heel is down in warrior one, spin your back heel up now. Lower your back knee down to the ground, hips back over top of that knee, left foot goes to the left a bit. Tuck your right buttock under a bit, and then side bend gently to your left. So you lift up through the elbow, look up towards the elbow. Think of getting higher instead of how far over you can go. Get more height from your left side, right side body up through your elbow. Come back up, reach arms up, take a hold of wrist, and one more time. Come back up, hands down onto the inside of the foot, lift your back knee. Step to plank. Three chaturanga push-ups or five scat push-ups, your call. Or you could even just hold a plank if you're starting to fatigue. Lower all the way down. Point toes back one more time. Clasp hands, roll shoulders open, heart open. Reach heart forward, but don't lead from the chin. Hold the grapefruit between your chin and your chest and reach the chest. Reach through the toes, reach the buttocks and hips out of the lower back at the same time. Now engage your glutes and lift your legs one inch. Release, lower your heart, press up and back, downward facing dog. Reconnect to your breath and down dog. Step your right foot for warrior one again. Inhale to come up. Bring your hands into reverse prayer. Just press your knuckles together as you straighten your right leg. Step your back foot an inch or two closer, depending on your flexibility. And as you inhale, reach your left buttock down and roll up through the front of your spine. And as you exhale, take all of that length out over your leg, fold forward halfway. Use your hands to make sure that your spine is elongated, that you still have a flat back. And then as you exhale, take all of that length out over your leg. You could add some glenohumeral mobilization if you like here, drawing the elbows up and down. Or you can just be still and watch your breath. 
Then interlock your hands and reach your knuckles up and over. You can use the strap or towel if your shoulders are more limited. And then press and reach down through your feet, come up to stand. Step your back leg forward. Stand tall, Tadasana. Press down through your left foot and hug your right knee up to your chest. You can stay here or if you have the flexibility to, you can take your big toe out in front of you. But don't force it. And if you're somewhere in between, I always suggest using support and working on standing tall as you let the hamstrings lengthen. Five breaths. So if you can feel in your body that there's too much tension when you're trying to hold something that's challenging, you'll actually be cueing the nervous system to create more tension so that you'll never open up in the pose. So for example, if the hand of big toe is challenging, you'll learn to open up by using support and staying calm. Now change hands and twist. So left hand comes to the outside of the knee if you're working with bent knee. If you're working with big toe, you catch big toe and twist. And if you're working with credenza, <laughs> take the situation. Whatever you got going. Improving our balance here, staying calm while we're stretching. In through the nose and out through the nose. Slow exhalations. Now come back to center and raise your arms up. Now bend that knee and drive it up an inch higher without tucking your butt. Hold it up that high and then stretch the legs straight out. Squeeze, squeeze these muscles here. Now I really want you to tense because you're working on creating more tension so that those muscles can help to hold the leg. For three, two, squeeze. Now bend the knee and we're gonna tip into Vera 3. Is this leg on fire now? Do you have a few more breaths on it? If you need support, put your hands on a chair, on blocks, whatever. Otherwise balance for five. Good job. Bend your left knee and step back into warrior one. Uh-oh, we gotta do all that on the other side now. Straighten your left leg. Bring hands into reverse prayer. Reach down through the right buttock as you inhale, lift your chest, roll your chest open. And as you exhale, stretch out halfway out over that leg. Feel the spine elongate in the halfway position here. And then as you exhale, go all the way out. Then interlock your hands and reach your knuckles up and over. Again, if the shoulders are limited, you can use a strap or towel or t-shirt, whatever you got. And you can always tell if, if it's too intense, the breath will stop flowing. So let the breath be the greatest teacher. Press into your feet and come back up. Step forward to the front of your mat. Reach down through your right foot and hug your left knee up. You can just hold your knee or you can take the big toe out in front of you if you have the flexibility. If you don't yet, but you'd like to work on it, you'll use a chair 
make sure that you can stand tall. You're not tucked under to get the foot up to the position you're in. Holding for two more slow breaths here. Make sure that your practice is quiet and calming and soothing the nervous system. Twist now, right hand to the foot, bent knee or support leg. Now I understand in some countries they practice a drinking game where they drink whenever I say credenza. So that's what I read that in the comments somewhere. It's a joke because I say credenza a lot, I guess. Now come back to center and lift your leg off the credenza. <laughs> drink again. Okay, bend your knee and as you press down to your right foot, Lift and drive the left knee up as high as you can without tucking your butt. Keep the knee that high. Now stretch the leg straight out and squeeze top of the leg stuff. Squeeze above the kneecap. Hip flexor. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for three. Squeeze. Two. Squeeze. Bend the knee. Tip into Vera three. And you should have better access now to stretching this back leg. Look at that. Modify however you need to. If you need hands on blocks, hands on chair, hands on credenza. Step back into your one. Hands to prayer. Spin your back heel up and twist. Bring your hands to the mat and step back. You can take the vinyasa we've been practicing, up dog to chaturanga to down dog, or you can just go straight back depending on your energy level. Step your left foot for Vera one. Inhale, come up. Hands to prayer, spin your back heel up and twist. Bring your hands down and again, step back into down dog or take the vinyasa. And lower down. Now for your final stretch, you could take a single leg pigeon and hang out there, or you can do a twist with me. It's up to you. Single leg pigeon, you know how to get into it. If you're gonna do the twist from a side lying position, take your arm up, over, and into the twist.
here in the side lying twist. Now take your arm overhead in line with your shoulder. Then roll back and change sides. If you're in the side twist, take the arm overhead now. And back to starting position. Lie down onto your back for Shavasana. Now let's do that same breath technique that we started class with. In through the nose, fill your lungs. And out through pursed lips. Two more times. let go completely. Feel the feet and the legs get heavy and drop. Like they're sinking an inch deeper. Feel your hips, your abdomen soften. Let the upper body drop the arms like they're sinking an inch deeper. Let go of any tension in the neck and in the muscles of the face. Soften, release the brow. Release the forehead. Now, gently bend the knees. Roll over to your side. And press yourself up to seated.
Thank you. Namaste.